Hello and welcome to this video in the Google Shopping Training Series. In today's video, we will be creating our remarketing campaigns in our Google Ads Manager. Remarketing is the cornerstone of any good marketing strategy. Most of your customers need to interact with you three or more times before they're comfortable with making their purchase on your website. Today, we will be positioning ourselves to be in front of these customers enough to secure the sale. Before we get started with the training, I wanted to remind everyone to subscribe to the channel. I put out a video every single day to build your knowledge in advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping. I do this absolutely free of charge. I also host a live call every Thursday night for the Facebook group, where I give away a one-hour consulting call. By subscribing, you're helping this channel reach more people and build out the revenue required to keep producing these videos for you. Thank you so much for clicking through. I hope you enjoyed the video. To start, open your Google Merchant Center and under the Growth section, click on Manage Programs. We need to enable dynamic remarketing. This will allow us to complete the next step and actually create the remarketing campaigns. Once that's done, open up your Google Ads Manager and let's start a brand new campaign. Our campaign objective will be Sales and we're going to select a Display Campaign. Click on Standard Display Campaign, put in your website, and continue. Create a campaign name. Our location is going to be the United States because that's where we're currently selling. Select people in or regularly in your targeted locations. Your language should be English because again, that's the website is set up in English. Bidding, we want to focus on conversions. Ask the next question, how do we want to get conversions? and you're going to select Automatically Maximize Conversions. Budget, let's set this to about half of what our daily budget for clicks are. Delivery method is standard. Never choose Accelerated. Click on Additional Settings and click on Dynamic Ads. You're going to be using this and use a data feed and select your data feed from your Merchant Center. We are going to keep no filter selected for now and let's name our ad group Remarketing. Select your remarketing audience list or lists in this next window. For targeting expansion, turn this section off. We are going to create our ads in the next video, so for now you could skip creating the ads. Click Save and Continue. Now you're almost ready to deliver your dynamic remarketing ads. These ads should prove to be your most profitable ad sets. Remarketing is truly the workhorse of your advertising campaigns and should never be neglected. A few things of note that we didn't discuss about remarketing efforts, you can get incredibly specific about who to remarket. The more specific that you get, the smaller the audience. The smaller the audience, the smaller the budget. There's no magic number or percent that you need to follow just adjust your budgets according to what fits best for you and your audience. Now when we go and create these ads, we will be delivering the ads based on what the customer did inside of your website. Keep that in mind as that is how we do the remarketing and that's why it's called dynamic remarketing. So these are the placements where people are seeing products that they just looked at after they browsed away from your website. That's why these are so effective. That's all for today. If this helped you at all, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more daily advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping training. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.